Yo, why can't I get that? No, I'm gonna redo that. All right, we're live. I was gonna wait the extra five minutes, but I can't wait. The kids are asleep. It's time to start playing. So anyways, box. We are playing Hoplomachus Victorum. All right, it's got the cool inside of box art. All right? Yeah, I know. I know we're early, Catherine. I, uh, I'm sitting here bored. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. Couldn't wait the extra five. I've been ready to go. So, and since this is such a long game, we're not going to get through it all. We're going to aim for Act 1 for sure, depending on the time. Maybe try for Act 2. I don't know. But for sure, Act 1. You'll have a good idea. Yeah, no, I can't. Can't be too loud to wake the kids up. You never know, though. I wouldn't uh, put it past her. So anyways, let's go down to the table and uh, start explaining some stuff the table okay so boom i know right okay so i decided to play as stignana stig giant stignan you know i looked up how to say that there i can zoom in closer boom i looked up how to say that and i never got there but that's my hero she, she is from She's from Pluto's Refuge. So, I am playing super easy mode. So I'm starting with eight blessings, one extra health, and one extra leadership. So I have six health. And six leadership, that's how many units I can control. I have a movement of two and a range of one. I'm a uh, fighter class, an, an attacker class. I start with one green dice and one yellow dice. And that's pretty much it. And from there we get to uh, start the adventure. Uh, I will explain as we go the fighting and the arenas because they're all different. So I can kind of explain the arena that we're on right now. So we're, we're playing in Pluto's Refuge. Stitch Diana. We're going to go with it. So we're playing P Pluto's Refuge. So Pluto's Refuge has these animals. Um, so they basically roam the board. And they do not target local units. So other Pluto refugees that are from this area. Um, but I will again explain that. How we go? How's it going, Ryan? Yes, some hoplo. Okay, so we have to make some decisions. Are we going to go to a bloodshed event? Or are we going to do a sport event? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? I can show you the options we have. So we can do the champion's choice, taking on three, uh, three bad guys, non-local units. And I may search the bag and freely choose the first unit of the rival's lineup. Or we could do this blood sport. Uh, you can only deploy one non-elite unit this combat. This unit has plus 10 health. So I don't know if we really want to do that. That, uh, that might hurt a little bit. And we don't really have any great units to start with. So I think we're going to go with this. So you may search the bag and freely choose the first unit of the lineup. So since it's a sparring event, you need to select your champion or uh, what do they call it? Uh, Tribune. Yeah, that's what they call it, Tribune. So Champion, Tribune. And so basically in these sports events, you can't kill the Tribune. If you kill the Tribune, 
your hero goes down to one health. So basically, if your hero dies, you have to use a blessing. If you run out of blessings, game over. Okay. Uh, in sport events, any uh, units that you have don't die. They just go back to your camp flipped over. But in sport events, you can gain tactics and or recruit units from the ones you've played or fought. Okay. You want to pull, Catherine. Okay, well, let me get him. Let me get this unit thing drawn up here. So we get to select the first one. I think. I think we want. I think we want to go with a defender. I think that's what we want to go with because they have five health. They they're slow, and we don't want to kill them. I think that's what we're going to go. So then we can choose two other ones. So the next one will be an attacker. And an archer. Um, they all have little T's next to them. So the first two have T's. So the defender gets a stun. So that's a stun tactic that goes right there. And then the attacker gets a adrenaline. Like that. So we can deploy up to four units. We only have four units, so we can deploy everything we want. Uh, Catherine wants a pole. I don't know. What do you want the pole to be, Catherine? it I got one just need to remember how to spill it there we go <laughs> okay so again, we don't want the Tribune to die. Um, so we give the Tribune trip chip to the first guy in the sparring event. We'll flip, we'll shuffle these guys up, put them out here because these are the arena specific. So they get four and three health. Three, four. So these arena animals basically will pick on anybody except for local units. So anyone from Pluto's Refuge, which my champion is, and any of these uh, yellow characters. Say Pluto's Refuge on the back. But luckily, this one doesn't have any local units. Okay, so we will deploy the first unit. Because the round goes with deploy, then tactics, then movement, then abilities, and then engage. Okay. And so the targets are flag holder, heroes, weakest opponent. Okay. We'll see. We'll, I'll explain it as I go because it, it is a little bit complicated. So the first unit is the defender, the tribune, which has a health of five, two, three, four. Five goes out on the one space. So every unit comes out dazed unless they have uh, certain abilities. So tactical will allow you to move on the turn you come out and first strike will allow you to attack the turn you come out. I should mention, I also have three abilities that I start the game with. So I have Retaliate, which is, so if I'm attacked, if I'm done damage, I will do damage back. Well, attacked, specifically. Uh, 
I'll heal for one if I'm the first unit to deploy my champion. If that's the first unit I pick. And if I deploy her as the first unit, she comes out not dazed. So, he can't move, and he can't attack, so now it's my turn. Well, actually, first off, he can, we have to go through the tactics. So, stun, uh, there's no enemy units that he's nigger to, so he can use that, but he can use adrenaline. So, it goes out on this unit, so this unit has plus one movement. Not ideal, but that's fine. We need to kill the other ones. Hmm. Hopefully the animals will do it for us. What should I go with? Should I go with my archer? I'm just worried the animals are going to come up pound me here. It's fine, counter. <laughs> Why does the internet do me like that? You could start a counter for okay as well. I say okay a lot as well. But it's fine. All right. Hmm. So these guys also have combat lock and roaming. So combat lock means if anyone gets around it or it gets around someone, you basically can't move and it won't move. It'll stay on you. What do I gain by getting that guy out first anyways? Ah, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm not dazed because I'm the first unit. She's the first unit out for me. She would heal, but she's fully health. Well... think you think that's the way to go all right i was hoping the beasts would do the dirty work for me we'll put my archer out here she has first strike and a range of two so one two so that is in range so i can roll my attack i'm not going to use any of my tactics so That's fine. It's fine. I can take input from the audience. <laughs> so a black and yellow die. So the dice go up for two on the yellow, three on the blue, four on the green, five on the black, and six on the red. So it's a six-sided dice, and they're all hits. So, you know. Okay. So this one's going to attack that. Two dice. Two hits. Look at that. All right. Okay. So now, now my turn's done. The arena beast will move. So I can resolve whichever one I want first. Uh, let's resolve this one. So we've got two movement. I got to roll this dice twice to see where it's going. So he's going one. So I'll zoom out for a second. There's a little uh, compass here. So one. It tells you if you roll the die, it'll tell you what direction the uh, any character with roaming will move. Okay. So he's going to move up one. And he's got one more movement. Six. And he can't move that way, so it's not going to move. 
This one now as a movement of two, five. Okay, so now he's got a target, he's locked. He is going to do his attack. A black and a yellow on my archer. Nothing, look at that. Okay. However, now the archer is stuck there. Okay, so then deployment phase for the enemy. So the attacker will come out, three health. We'll go on spot two. But can't go on spot two because they are scared of the beasts because it's not a local unit. So any spot around it, they will avoid the spot. So he's going to come out on the three spot. But he is dazed. So we look at the tactics. We got stun. We don't have any character that's tactical out there for the enemy. So you need to be adjacent. So you won't use the tactic. Um, okay. He's going to target. So the defender is looking for a target. He's going to go, there is no flag holder. There is no hero, so he's going to target the weakest unit. They're scared and won't target the beasts, so he is targeting this guy. Um, but there is no way. He's just going to move one space. He can't move two. He can move two, but he can't go into any of these spaces because of the beasts. They're scared of the beasts. So he's only going to move his one spot. And so no attack. It's my turn. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to get my hero out. Yeah. She can't move. She's dazed because it's not the first unit to be put out. So I still have my archer. I'm going not can't move my archer because I'm locked in combat. So I'm going to use my archer, roll a black and yellow die against the archer. Or against the beast. Beast is dead. This goes out there. Okay. Now we resolve the this beast. It's going to move two. See? Two is going to move this way. Now he has a target. So he gets a blue and a yellow. He's going to attack the defender. One. Now we really don't want this guy to die. Okay, it is now the opponent's turn. They can't deploy because both their uh, deployment hexes are occupied. The beast is blocking this one. Combat lock has this guy, so he can't move away, but he can attack it. My hero's out. Yeah. If the Tribune dies, doesn't matter. Straight up. Do not have the Tribune die. That's why this is rough. I don't like it because the beasts just mess everything up. Okay, so he's going to target... My hero can't reach my hero with a movement of two, but he can re reach the weakest opponent in range. So he's going to move two this way. So 
this this beast is gonna mess with that guy so I'm gonna deal with this guy he's gonna attack the beast he's gonna roll his black die does one damage to the beast the attacker is gonna attack my archer for one black one blue and one yellow one not bad take that okay so it's my turn now I'm going to deploy my tactician I think I'm going to move my hero up one. We're going to take care of this attacker. I'm also going to move my archer back one. Because this unit has retaliate and I don't want my archer to die. So my archer will do the attack against the attacker here for a black and a blue, or black and a yellow, sorry. It's one. Okay. And my guy gets a green and a yellow. So the hero will attack the attacker. We're hoping for a kill here. Don't say it, Nick. Don't say it. Don't say it. Just don't say it. Okay, so I missed. <laughs> I missed. So now the beast turn. Beast has a target, so it is going to attack the blue and a yellow. I'm not going to say it was a jinx there, but uh, so the beast is going to attack the defender. Two. Worse. Okay, so bad guys, they can get their archer out. Place here. And then we look at the tactic. So it can get stun out because we have a unit next to um, these guys. So Stun will be played on the strongest opponent, which would be my guy, of course. Um, so he's combat lock, can't move. Dazed, can't move. Um, he's targeting my hero. So it's not going to move. How do we want to resolve this? Well, let's resolve the defender. We'll attack the beast. The black die. Nothing. The archer will attack the beast since it's in range. A black and yellow. And the attacker will attack my hero for black, yellow, and blue for two. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to deploy my last unit that I can. My defender for five. Put it right there. So he'll protect my attacker, my hero. Um, where do we want to go? Well, I will move this guy up one. Yeah, I think that is best for now. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So, my hero's stunned, can't do nothing. Um, I'm going to use my archer to attack this guy. He only has two health left, so let's hope for a, a nice two hit here. Got it. First unit is dead. Okay. It was a, you saw it though, it landed right here. Come on, it counts. Not, don't be like that, Steve. Don't be like that. Okay. So the beast's turn. Beast is going to attack that guy. Blue and a yellow die. The one. Oh. Oh. I think it's, it's different. I think too many bones over this because it's more versatile, this is strictly a solo game. Where Too Many Bones plays well as a solo game, it also plays well with an extra another player, right? There's also a lot more to expand on right now with Too Many Bones. And you can get a lot of game for the price of this. So I'm enjoying this, I like solo games. I think this is really thinky. It's a more movement on the board. But I think Too Many Bones has a lot to offer for the price over this. But if you are strictly into solo games, I think this is very good as well. But Too Many Bones has a lot, a lot of extras now. It's, a, it's a really a complete game. Okay. So my unit is no longer stunned. He did his attack. So now, there's no more units for this to deploy. No tactics for it, so it's gonna to go to movement. Can't move because he's locked. This one can move and can get in range of my hero. So he's going to move down there. Okay. So let's resolve the attacks. So this defender is going to attack the uh, Crimea, Chimera, 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 for one. And the archer is going to attack my hero. Of course. Oof. Oh, no. It's not good.
Okay. Let's do our movement. I'm going to move this guy up for one. This guy up for one. This guy up for one. And this guy up for one. Okay. Um, so just, I need to check something. So do I, to win this, to win the sparring event, you have to kill everyone except for the champion. Now, does that count beasts? Right? That's, uh, I just need to check that. In any non-sport event, okay, so it's right on the card. Any non-sport event, the beast would also have to be defeated, but this is not a non-sport. This is a sport event, so... The beast act during a turn in any non-sport events. The beast must also be defeated in order to win. So I'm. Um, this is a sparring. This is not a beast. Uh, a bloodshed event. So I'm going with. You don't have to kill it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, do you, do you agree with that statement? Is it controversial? Because I'm pretty sure I could kill the beast too, but pretty sure I don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to use the archer to attack the archer. Black and yellow. Two, look at that. Dead. So, technically, technically I think I have it. But if we wanted to be precise, I could use my tactician for his red, red die. Here, I'll roll it just to make everyone happy. I don't know, I think we have to, but kill this guy too so there everyone's dead except for the uh the tribune all right look at that pulled that off like we knew what we were doing we didn't lose any units although we did take a beating we're down to two health But the beast did a good job for us. Okay, clean up. These guys back. So, we won that. So we have to go to the cleanup phase now. So clean up, we have to mark off a week. So now we are in week finished week zero we're in week one I should have moved my little piece that way um, so we collect our rewards so it was a sport event so we get recruit a rival unit or gain a tactic so we already have three tactics we could recruit any one of these guys so a defender, an archer, or an attacker. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with an attacker. Because I don't have one. I only have my champion. So I think I'm going to grab another attacker. So then these guys go in the fancy hoplo bag. Goes in the back. Okay. So that was the uh, first fight. So, not too bad. How did the poll go? You guys thought the Tribune was going to die? Come on. He, uh, he had one health left. <laughs> Okay, so from here, we can move into the Lamosians area. We can move up to here to this uh, uh, bloodshed event, or we can move down here and get an opportunity card. It didn't let you down. I'm glad he didn't die, although it wouldn't have been much different. I only have two health. I would have been left with one health. 
It's not great. Bloodshed. All right, should we go to a new arena or should we stay in Pluto's Refuge? And keep in mind, our next Bloodshed event left. Well, I'm here to please. I'm here to please. So we'll go to the Lamosians. We're going to go this way. Okay. I don't know if that would have been my choice, per se. But uh, here we are. Oh, I guess so. Another thing we should cover is who are the uh, bad guys I have to defeat before I can beat uh, the Primuses, who, who I can defeat the Scion. So I have... Uh, Amazonians, I have the Amazons, I have the Vesuvians, and I have the Lamosians. So I do have to end up here in the in, in this act. So maybe it's not a bad choice to get over there right away. Because so I have to fight over here, here, and here. So, let's arrange that in order. You don't think I should listen to you? Come on, it's fine. We'll travel up here. We'll swap out the arena. You know, it's fine. Don't count that. That don't. That's. Do it to myself. And we got to get the handy dandy Lamosians. Eat. I'm not a big fan of the Lamosians uh, arena, to tell you the truth. But uh, that's fine. I said it again. Oh, it's terrible. Okay. So this one is all about elevation. Uh, the peak hexes are the highest point in the arena. So these are the peak hexes. Uh, each column of hexes moving outwards from the peak is one elevation lower. So one lower, one lower that, one lower that. Okay. Uh, high ground. So units that are attacking, if they're higher, they add a black die. To their uh, attack so it's always good to take the high ground and local units have a movement of three Catherine Steve wants to know what you're doing downstairs you're making a racket some people are trying to watch quality YouTube <laughs> okay. okay so we chose this bloodshed event. So you can deploy only one non-elite unit this combat. This unit has plus 10 health. Hmm, plus 10. I feel like we're going to have to go with the attacker on this one. I feel like that's going to have to be our unit. So we need to build the queue here. So it gets one local unit. So we take the top one off the stack, which is a defender, NACOM. And then two bag units. There's the first bag unit, another defender. They're slow, so that's something. And an attacker. Uh, no tactics to worry about. And this is to the death. So this guy will deploy. 
the NACOM. Five health. Two, three, four, five. I don't think you were sneaking very well. So this guy has two abilities, or he's got an innate ability and an ability. So taunt is if anyone's around it, it you have to attack it instead of the, another unit. And swap, this unit may switch hexes with an adjacent unit. It will only do this if it will allow another unit, a rival unit, to get an attack or a special in. So I'm going to choose. So it's day, so it doesn't move or doesn't do anything. Which one should I choose? I think I have to choose. I think I have to choose the attacker because I can at least do some damage here. Yeah. So I'm going to choose my attacker. He has 13 health because Bloodshed event gives him plus 10 to his 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You guys aren't going to be able to see this. It's going to be sort of focused. <coughs> so. Employ him right up here. Look at that. 13 health. But he is also dazed. So he can't come in. So then he's going to deploy the defender. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to go on space two. Okay, so now movement. He is. He's a NACOM. And so he's a local unit. Have movement three. So he's moving three. And his target is going to be flag holder highest hex in range of an opponent or strongest opponent. So he can't attack anyone, but he's going to go up to the highest. He's going to try to get to the highest range. So he's trying to get here. That's where he's trying to get to. So he's going to do one, two, and three. Which is fine, because that puts him in range of me to hit him. What is going on over here? Steve and Catherine. Okay. So we got the NACON. They did their movement. It is now my turn. I can't deploy because I can only have one unit. So I can move and attack. So we're gonna we gotta whittle this guy down. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Sorry. Don't don't mind me. I really would like to get to the center hex too, because I'm taking an extra hit. So one, two, it's going to go like that. He's then going to attack him with a black, yellow, and blue die. Here we go. Shake it up. These metal dice though, oh, they feel so good. Two, not bad. Take it. Okay, so that's my turn. Then it is the rival's turn. He will deploy his attacker for three health. He's going to go on space one. Dazed. Then movement. He's not going to move because he is in the highest hex in range of an opponent. So he's going to stay right where he is because he's as high as he can get. Uh, this guy is going to try to get here. 
we can only move one so we're fine so that's good we'll be able to we'll be able to negate this height advantage here and he will then hit me because his ability is not going to change anybody so he'll roll his black die fine we got lots of that I'll take a beating all day Okay, my turn. I'm going to move one up here. Get up nice and high. Oh wait, sorry. I was supposed to roll an extra, extra black die for this guy because he is there. So we'll roll that other one. One more. He's got retaliate, so he does one back. Okay. Now we're gonna move up here. Okay, so then we're going to attack this guy. Black, blue, and yellow. He's got two health left. Two is enough to kill it. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Now it is the rival's turn. We are going to resolve this guy first. So he is going to try to get, he's first going to target the flag holder, no flag holder. Then he's going to target the highest hex in range of an opponent, which would be this. Can't do that. But then he can target the strongest opponent in range, which would be this. So he can move up here. That's the spot that he's going to move to. So this guy is going to move. So he is going to target, like I said, the highest hex in range of an opponent. He can't reach it. So we'll go to the next one and would be strongest opponent, which he can reach. So he'll move this way. So they finally got all around me. So the defender will roll one black die, and the attacker will roll black, blue, and yellow. Oh, not bad, I'll take it. Now this is just going to be a stand in the corner and punch each other. But since I have high ground, I'm going to get to roll an extra black die. So I have to attack. Oh, right. I keep forgetting the retaliating. Great. Good catch. Okay, so I have to attack the defender because he has taunt. So I get two black dice, one blue, one yellow. Three. Not dead, but he's, he's pretty close to it. Okay. So, back to the rival. So the rival, this guy is going to target the highest hex and range of opponent, so he is going to move. Uh, that guy is not going to move because there's no highest hex that he can reach. So he is going to roll a black die against my attacker. Does one. But watch this. I didn't forget. He gets retaliate, which kills him. And this guy is going to roll black, blue, and yellow against my attacker. So one. But he has retaliate. Look at that. Look at that. I think we're good. And in my turn, I get two black, one yellow, one blue. We'll roll it against the attacker here. So three, overkill him. Perfect. You know what? We worked well as a team out there, guys. Oh, 
he, they did whittle him down, though. I'll give him that. He's got seven health left of his uh, 13. Okay. So, this is a bloodshed event. So, we need to do cleanup now. We'll mark off another week. This is going, it's going a little well. It's going a little well. I'm not going to complain. Not yet. So, we can upgrade or we can take a plus one. So, we can add a die. Or we can upgrade a die, or we can add one to health, or one to leadership. We're not at our max leadership yet, so I don't think we have to worry about that. I'm thinking about upgrading a die. What do you guys think? Upgrade a die or add one to health? I'd like to get the yellow to a blue. A little bit better hit. Or should we take the green and go to a black? Almost guarantee ourselves a hit. Right, a black and yellow or a blue and a green? What is statistically better? You know, two and a and four. Or two and a five. Or four and a three. Get rid of the yellow garbage. Okay. We'll upgrade that. So these guys are all dead. They go back into the bag now. Take this. Okay. <sighs> this is going well. You know what? I think I'm. Th I'm pretty happy. You know, we're week two, two battles down. Okay. I'm a little upset with how hurt my uh, hero got. But, you know, we can't have everything. So, do we go to another sport event? Do we go to get an opportunity card? Uh, the one showing says, add a bag unit to the end of a rival unit. A rival lineup in a bloodshed event and win the event. So that's not too bad. And that would get us a hero prowess. It's not bad. The next one only has... The next bloodshed only has one local unit, one... Uh, One uh, bag unit. Okay. All right. So we are going to move down here to this opportunity space. And so we get to draw two of them. So we could win a Primus event without deploying any local units. Well, I don't know if we're going to get that. Or we can add a bag unit to the end of the rival lineup in a bloodshed event and win the event. You know, I feel I feel like this is the, is a better. Our guy likes to get out first anyway. <coughs> and the next one, Zeno. Really. But Primus event is a long way away. Like, where I would like to get my Do Not Fear Death level 2, which would allow me to heal t 2 health when I deploy. I don't know. Yeah. I know. I'm just so early on. And I feel like I can get this one in the next in the next battle here. 
because the next uh, bloodshed event is poison darts and it says at the start of each of your turns deal one damage to your hero if they are not in combat so yeah i think i think i'm gonna go with reckless just because i think i can get it okay go right here however not gonna see it okay so now we have to do we have to do cleanup and so we will mark off another week okay we only have two health which is fine we have lots of blessings since we're playing on easy mode. Okay. So, do we want to loop around this way? Or do we want to go back up this way? To, uh... They're both bloodshed. So we're not getting around that unless we want to spectate. I don't really want to spectate yet. Hmm. Let's go up here because I don't really want to leave the Limousian area. Yeah, let's go that way. All right. We're going to do this, Poison Darts, which is a callback to uh, Too Many Bones. So... I don't know. Um, so, we are going to do Poison Dart. We're going to take a local unit. So that is Dimacurus. Macarus? Shouldn't even try. Shouldn't even try to pronounce these names. Okay. And one bag unit. So that's an attacker. I think that's okay. Oh, well, thanks for joining. Hopefully uh showcase it well enough. It's a good game. I enjoy it. Okay. And the bag unit is an archer. Okay. Remember this opportunity card. So if we add a bag unit to the end of the rival lineup in a bloodshed event and win the event. So I think we're going to do it. Well, it's too late now. I can't go back. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to add one more bag unit just because we can play a little reckless here. Get it? Because we have the blessings. And a tactician. It's not so great because they do get tactics out. Okay. So the wolf unit. This attacker gets adrenaline. Uh, the archer gets uh, bolster health. And... Tactician doesn't get anything. So. <laughs> it was awesome. Well, I don't know if it was bad advice. It just was late in the game. If I was later in the game, it would be good. But I think I get this one done. And I want that extra on my uh, do not fear death. Okay. So as long as we get our hero out here, we won't have to deal one damage to my hero. So we are going to get that guy out first. Okay, let's do this up. This guy is going to deploy with four health. He cannot, we can use bolster health. Uh, we can use the adrenaline on him. 
So he's a plus one movement. So he's three unit movement anyways. However, because he is a mountaineer, he is three movement. We are going to deploy my hero because I'm only at two and I can't really afford to keep getting hit for that one damage. Plus I heal up for one and I get to move. So I'll heal up for one because I'm deployed. I'm not dazed because of the sound of drums. Hero prowess card. So I can move two, move there. Oof, do I want to move there though? Because he's going to move one, two, and three. And if I put myself here, I'm going to be hit first. We're going to go here. That's the better move. Okay. The archer is going to deploy to health. And then this tactic will go out. This tactic says there's two out there. It will go on the weakest ally. So this guy only has two health. So he will get plus two. And then that's out. He's got three movements. He's going to try to get the high ground. So he's going to move right up here. This guy's got first strike. Can't move. So we go to the combat phase. None of them can hit. So we will go to my deployment phase. Oh, uh, what am I going to do? I wish I had some special units ready right now. I think I'm gonna get my defender out. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for my. I'm gonna go for my attacker. Sorry. There. Play a little reckless here. Go there. If I'm there, he's gonna attack me. Is that what I wanna do? Yeah, I think that's what I wanna do. Move our two up that way. So at least we're sharing the high ground. And I can attack, so I got a blue and a green dice now. Oh, but he's got retaliate. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? One. Okay, it's it's okay. I'm fine. Fine. Retaliate takes one off my guy. Okay. And the enemy's turn. Two deploys here. He's going to stay right where he is. He's going to move one that way. And gonna move to here. Can't attack, but he can move there. We are gonna take a beating. Okay. We're gonna resolve this guy, the tactician, against him. We are gonna lose one, but retaliate will lose another one for him. Oh wait, nope, never mind. He can't attack because he's dazed. Oops. That's good. All right. 
Well, let's resolve the uh, attacker up here. He gets a blue, black, and yellow. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Didn't die. Retaliates for one. And then the archer is going to take a pot shot at him. And look at the luck on that. Look at the luck on that. Okay. I hear you. Okay. I'm going to get my archer out. So that's my max units that I can have deployed. So I'm going to use a tactic. I'm going to use bolster health on my... Oh, I can't use it on heroes. Okay. That's fine. Never mind. So many little things you need to remember. Do we run away? You know what? Yeah. We're going to end up using a blessing. There's no way around it. There's just no way around it. Like, I'm going to win, but we're going to lose a blessing. Either way, I was in trouble. Okay, well, we're going to move. <laughs> We're going to move this guy up here. And we're going to move. Well, I just deployed the archer. He can't move. I could pull him back. But really, one, two. Yeah, they will just pick off him. But I feel like I may as well just waste the blessing. I could run and hide and try to... Because they're going to stay and attack. Okay. You know what? Let's try it. Get a little two here. Run down the hill. I don't know. Would that help, though? No. No. I'm going to stay there. Okay, we're going to go into the attack phase. This guy's going to attack him. So blue, black, and yellow. What do we want it? He's got to retaliate. Have to try against the tactician. Yeah, I have to try against the tactician. Okay, so we get a blue and a green die against the tactician. 
only one. Dice are not in my favor. Okay. Enemy's turn. So he is going to target the highest hex in range of an opponent, which he's already in. This guy is going to target the highest hex range or the strongest opponent, so he's already there. And the archer is going to target the highest hex in range of an opponent. Move to. Yeah. Which I guess he will move here. Well, in range of a unit. So he is in the highest hex range of a unit. I don't know, will he go closer, you think? Highest hex in range of an opponent. He's going to move to the highest hex. But he, yeah, there's no way he can get higher. We can get to this one. Oh, I should have rolled an extra black die. You're right. Don't forget it. <laughs> we'll take it. Okay. I don't think he's going to move. He's in the highest hex in range of an opponent. He is in range of an opponent. Yeah, right. So will he put himself up one though? Like I don't I don't know if he he would. Because he, maybe. Uh we'll go with he goes to the highest one. He moves to the highest hex in range of an opponent. He is in range, he's moving to the highest. We'll go with it. If not, I can always move him back. Okay, so we are going to do the attack. So, yeah, like they, they are trying to climb the hill. So, so he's going to attack and he's going to attack the highest hex in range of an opponent. So will he attack down? Yeah, he's going to attack down because he'll want that extra, extra die. This one always confuses me. <laughs> highest hex in range of an opponent. Okay, this is the highest hex. So maybe he will attack this guy. Maybe they always attack up. Okay. So we'll attack this guy. So he gets a black, blue, and a yellow. So he's going to go this way. <laughs> he misses. Well... Although I rolled two yellow, so the yellow and the black metal die in this lighting uh, really messes with you. Okay, so he did kill me. So I die, but I instantly heal back up to my full health. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go down a blessing. Okay. And this guy is going to attack this guy. I still don't know if this archer would have moved up. Okay. 
So we will do this on that guy. One. And retaliate one. Okay. Here we go. My turn now. Let's do some damage. So he's going to move up one. He's going to move over for one. And he's going to move up one. I think that's how we're going to do it. So first off, we will try the archer onto the attacker there. So a black and a yellow. We only need to do one. Do two. That's the second guy dead. So now we can do a blue and a green for my guy. One. And then the attacker will go against them for black, blue, and yellow. For one. So it's not over yet. So he is going to move to the highest hex in range of a unit. And then he is going to target the highest hex in range of an opponent. So he's targeting the highest hex, which would be this guy. So he's targeting this guy because he's higher. Highest. That's the highest hex. Targets the highest hex. I'm going to go with it. Again, this kind of confuses. The wording and all the other ones kind of make a little bit more sense for me. I struggle with this one. So he's going to target this guy for a black probably was supposed to roll an extra black die with that guy too, but I forgot. I'm not going back. Yep, he rolls one. Retaliate for one. Kills him. There we go. For attacking only use. Okay. If it is, isn't bold, then it can't be a target, just a mark for movement. Well, that makes it a lot more clear. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was here. If that was the case, he would have targeted him. He would have rolled a extra black die. Yeah. Not do it like that. So, no. Where's my guys? Oh, confused. Anyways, we'll take off one more for this guy because he should have lost an extra one. I'm with it. Okay. However, we only lost one blessing, right? So, you know, on week, uh, what is this, week four? I'll take it. No, no, no. I have to try to make it as clear as possible because people will tell me I didn't do it right. <laughs> it's important to try to get it as right as possible or correct it as we go because... People will comment it.
Okay. So we did win though. So we do achieve this. So we do get a hero prowess. Okay. So keep that in mind. Let's finish this. So we'll mark off the week. Four. Um, these will go into the bag. Now we have to decide again, are we doing a dice? Are we doing health or leadership? I'm going to go with a dice. I'm going to get two, two green dice. Dife? I'm with you, eh, Hemi. Okay. And then we have the hero prowess that we also get to gain. So you get to look through these and pick which one you want. I want my Do Not Fear Death 2. Which basically just allows me to heal 2 HP when I am deployed. Okay. Not too bad. A little upset with uh, with the blessing being used, but I didn't have much hope. I went in there with like two health to start with. Right. Nine o'clock. Doing well though. I'm feeling feeling okay. What's the fine count at? Okay, so we are going to do another sporting event. Going to move up there. Um, it is a King of the Hill event. Uh, units add a black die to their attack when targeting a weaker unit. It's well over 10. Steve. Okay. So the key is just be the strongest unit. King of the Hill is up here, and you need to get to six. I don't like King of the Hill events. It's okay, I mean, you don't need to be nice. Steve and Catherine aren't. Okay. So we're going to take our little travel thing, and we're going to move up here. which is this. So the mighty uh, units add a black to their attack when targeting a weaker unit. It is king of the hill. So that means we get to choose the tribune that we want. So let's build this. So we have a bullless hunter for the first unit. And then we need to draw two bag units. Oh yeah, they're looking good though, Steve. Post some pictures in the Discord. All right, we got an attacker. I want to slow units. Oh, someone's home. Who do you think it is? Oh, hi. This is my channel. What's going on? I'm playing a game. Cool. You're home early. Uh, yeah, so we went to the place. I had a drink. And then we went to sushi. And we had fun. That's it? Yeah, the sushi place closed at 9. Oh. So. You could have gone to a third place. Yeah, but we're full. Okay. And it's cold out. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. Now I'm home. All right. Do you want to grab a chair? And... Absolutely not. No. See ya. <laughs> no, I'm going to grab a chair. <laughs> Sounds like Chrissy. <laughs> okay. So 
I've drawn up the uh, <sighs> best part of the stream. Come on. Who said that? Yeah. Yeah. Push my chair out of the way. I know, I'm sorry. How long have you been? How long have I been streaming? Since 7.30? What time? Nine. Nope. Well. Alright, I can I can move over a bit. That's fine, I'll get some back here. That's okay. I own oh. access to this. Whew. It's so cold, my hair's staticky. Oh my gosh, we had oysters. She's going to be bad. Who's going to be bad? You. Oh, bad luck? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why else would I sit here for? Fair enough. Oh, we had barbecue eel. Okay, barbecue I'm going to deploy squid. this one. We had barbecue squid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, also need to pick a Tribune. I'm going to pick yes, this thanks, guy. Yes, thanks, Yeah, it's an actual live, so be careful. To be a Tribune. <sighs> Because we don't want him to die. We've done so many members lives that I forget how to act on actual lives. <laughs> I know. Is there something over there? He's sniffing pretty hard. Nope. Over there. Okay. Got first strike. Confidence. What's what's confidence here? The designer. One of the designers is watching. I no might still be watching. Yeah. That's awesome. This unit adds a green die to its okay. attack, well outnumbered. Okay. There are no odd members here. You guys are non members. Be members. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, you there's... become a member and you become a member. <laughs> I'll be like Oprah. You get a membership, but you get a membership. <laughs> there is no skip driver on the way with a Slurpee. You should have came home <gasps> with a Slurpee. I never even thought about you. I don't even want to be here. <laughs> Logan is the one of the designers. Nice. Hello. <laughs> yeah, a pooper. This one's way too big. Okay. Okay. We're getting distracted here. I agree. Um. Sorry, I can leave. No, no, no. <laughs> Two, three, four. I can't believe you think she, you thought she would have thought about me. Like, Why did he didn't even get pizza? He didn't think about me. I got wings. I know. And there's lots of wings left over in the fridge. I'm so full. We had like $150 worth of sushi. And they made it right in front of us. And I had, oh. what is it? The alcohol, the sake or something. It's pretty cool. Ah, I don't know what to do. That archer is kind of in the way. Get rid of him. Are you done? So he's going to move one, two, three because he's a mountaineer. And then he's going to be arranged up to here. So I need to be able to go one, two to hit him. I'm going to get my attacker out. You're going to hit him? I'm not going to hit him, but. Um, It was good warm. It went down really smooth and it was good, but then it got cold and then it tasted like alcohol, so I put it to the side. Okay, so this guy is going to deploy. Three. Wow, Catherine, good for you. Glad you thought of Steve. It's fine. Rectify this. <laughs> okay, so he's going to move up to here. It's not a member's lab. I should be on my phone. <laughs> What is the etiquette? <laughs> I don't know. You probably just made the whole stream way more interesting. I did because I'm here. You're boring. That's why I didn't tune in. <laughs> okay. So he moved. He's dazed. It's my turn. 76, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. I cast the tin. One outside. Right. Not involved yeah. in this gameplay. No, nope, you, you can come and go. That's fine. I'm going to deploy this guy. A tactician. He's going to move up to here. Because he's tactical. 
And then this guy is going to move here. Yeah. I think that's how we're going to play it. So then my attacker is going to attack the archer or the bolus hunter. The black, blue. I can't just get yellow. you a Slurpee. No? There's a $10 minimum. Okay, we'll get whatever you want. Oh, and they don't sell alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're attacking the bolus hunter. Three dice. Uh, units add if they're attacking. Uh, units add one fact when attacking a weaker unit. Well, they are equal strength, so you don't have to worry about that. They have croissant. Look at that roll. Is that a good roll? That's a pretty good roll. For you? Yeah. Yeah, for me. Two, three. Do you want another ice cream? Uh, I can't say no to an ice cream. It would help me. You, you want an immunity ju uh, juice shot? No, I do not. It's probably full of lemon and ginger. <laughs> okay. So this guy is going to deploy. Steve, what? To... I had no idea. So the one, this guy is going to move up here. Do you want Netflix and chill? You Actually want half baked? Move here. Okay, so he is attacking. He's going to add a black die because he's attacking a unit that is weaker than him so he gets two black dice one blue one yellow and he's attacking my tactician don't die tactician don't die he died Front row. yeah i needed the i needed the king of the hill point here Yeah, I think it's her son's birthday. Okay. We need to get up on that hill here. I'm gonna get this defender out. Okay, I favored it, Steve. Where does it go? So I'm going to move. This guy's going to move up there. Maybe we can get an extra lucky roll. They both have three, so... Two black dice, because these are the higher units. Black dice? Blue dice and a yellow dice. Die. What is it? Oh, my blue dice is chipping. You die? <gasps> yep. I knew it was going to happen. No, the other ones are fine. This one's literally chipped everywhere. Yeah. The blue one is having a rough go. Oh. But what do you expect oh for metal God. dice hitting metal dice? Uh, yeah, I know. I expected it. Like, it's, uh, it's bound to happen here. Anyways. This attacker is attacking that attacker. Do it. Let's see it. We need four. We need three to kill it. Deal. I did good. Uh, it's only two. I know. Oh. <laughs> I know what I did. <laughs> Retaliate. 22 minutes. One. I really wanted to have that guy die. Too bad for you. Too bad for me. <laughs> so now what's going to happen? Well, they're going to move. He's going to move up here. This guy is going to move here. Because you say so? Actually, let's just uh, move this back. We can choose the order we want. Who are you? Are you purple? I'm, I'm red. Purple? 
I'm gonna move this guy first. He's got three because he's a mountaineer. Do they not to see? They don't have to see anything else that's going on. Just this. Yep. I zoom out. Yeah, I got a little unzoom button. Nice. Yeah. Where's the dice tray for this? Right there. Oh, I don't like the dice tray for this. Not the, not the neoprene dice tray. That should never be a thing. That should never be a thing. I'm sure some people like it. That was a mistake. On your part. Yeah, on my part. Okay. So we played this out how I want, at least, because that'll stop this guy from getting an extra black die. Or getting... Do it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like your thumbnail that you did. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we will resolve this guy attacking that guy. We get some black, blue, and yellow. Uh, only roll. Come on. Two. Not good. Not good. I don't want to talk over you. Why? But I'm just talking in the chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can talk to them. That's fine. They're not here to talk to me. They're here to watch you play. Well, I'm getting my butt handed to me. I just can't. So it's going to be a quick video. I can't win these rolls. Do you want me to roll them for you? No. I'll do even better. Hmm. So mm -hmm. what is that? My three units? What did you get off your shame? I can get one more unit out. Or I get my hero out. Oh, you got seven likes on this video? Yeah, it's an amazing video. Oh. Everyone was going to like it. Like the video. <laughs> 11 people watching and only seven likes. <laughs> Merchants of the Dark Road. Well, how'd you find it? Okay, we can get my hero out. Yeah, we're gonna get my hero out. I'm gonna try. We're gonna move this guy up one. You had eight votes on poll? Yeah. Where's you can poll? run a poll. I had a poll. What's the poll? It was if the Tribune was gonna die. And? Uh, he did not. <laughs> so I was, I was good. We don't want the Tribune to die. Aww. I remember those days, Lewis. Fun time. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that statement. He's didn't love it, but didn't hate it. Here. Got a popsicle. No, an ice cream. Call him ice cream. And he's going to move here. Well, sounds like everyone had an all right day. This guy's going to attack him. For two black dice. That'll work. Yes. Oh. Mm. Black dice are the worst. Though. How old is she again? We slept trained at six months, and I think that was the hardest thing we've ever done. And this guy is going to attack him. For two black, blue. It yellow. is a parent thing. You just get used to the lack of sleep. Another two. Well, you're slowly I'm dying. That's <laughs> the wrong one. Like scoring on your own net. Yeah. <laughs> and I need to stay here for six turns, and it's not going to happen. What were the snow plows doing out at three thirty? Okay, we're going to move up here. We're going to use the defender to attack the attacker. Is that the noise that they make, Catherine? Yeah. Yes. Dead. Okay. So I think the other game is more fun. The other game is more fun? Yeah, the one that we played. Hoplomachus Remastered? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I know. This is this head-to-head. Well, against the computer. <laughs> you weren't here earlier. I know. I like this. It's a good solo game. It's thinky. I just don't understand what's going on. That's all. <laughs> 
worry about it. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that happened to us too. We ended up just telling the kids that they were allowed to play in their rooms for a little bit and then we'd go back in and put them to bed. That seemed to work for the most part anyway. So highest hex in range of an opponent. So he is going to move one, two, three. So that's the highest hex in range of an opponent. Well, all right. Yep. And then he's going to attack my guy. I'm going to get three black dice, which is terrible. Roll a red one. I'm going to use another blessing here. What's going to happen here? Two. And retaliate for one. Does this have all the same? Uh... Yep. Same sheet, remember? Oh, yeah. I lost that bit. Okay, so we move two up here. We're going to move one here. We'll use the black die to roll one against them. And we will roll two green dice. Against them. Do it. Yeah, because at this point, I'm already down to one health and two health, so. Doesn't matter. 16 minutes. I got, oh well, yeah, I already said that. Ice cream. I also got a water. Got a water? Mm hmm. Okay. So now it's his turn. How many expansions are there for Endless Winter? There's a lot. Probably. Three. I played the oh, three. Oh, the three. Got it. <clears throat> we haven't played with any, have we? No. No. You know, we get all the expansions. But we never generally, play them. But we never play them. We always focus on learning on the base game first, make videos well, on Well, we played the expansion for... Um... Yeah, Dune and Arnak. Like... I made are, a video on it, but we yeah, had... Games we really enjoy, we'll get the expansions. Yeah. But that's the bummer thing about Kickstarter. Because they get you with all these expansions. You don't know you want them yet. <laughs> you don't know you want them. So you buy them all because you're like, oh, I don't want to miss out on them. Like, maybe the game's great. And then you play the game, and you're like, the game's good. But I don't feel the need. I haven't played it enough to need an expansion yet. I guess so. So... I suppose. Do you know what I have to do tomorrow? What? Edit. Yep. <laughs> I'm halfway through a video for Monday. What video? Endless Winter. Endless Winter. Okay, so this guy is going to attack this guy for a one black die. He's equal elevation. Oh, is that how that goes? Yep. And he is the same strength. So, one black die, nothing. Perfect. So we're going to actually get through this. <laughs> it is a problem, Lewis. <laughs> we're going to get through this. So technically on my first turn, we can set this to one, but we're not going to wait for this to tick all the way up to six. We're just going to kill everything on the map. My hero's already at one. Like, what does that mean? It means he was pretty much going to die anyways. So let's roll this. He kills one more. And this guy's going to roll two greens. Don't say the word, okay? I'm not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to say what? <laughs> Here, let's start a poll. I'm not allowed to say it. How do you do a poll? Um, put it down here. Uh, can I not do a poll? I don't know. Don't Are you... you go all the way to the top? What? What? Oh. Okay, another video. <laughs> oh, the keyboard's right there. Here's the mouse. 
Okay. Okay, so he's going to attack me. Kill the strongest unit. One black die. It's another one off. But I have retaliate, which kills him. Where is it? I can't go down. Yeah. That's good. So I can't go down to one health. I'm already at one health, so that's fine. No punishment there. Bender's fine. So we win this battle. You won it? We won it. Good job. By default, by killing everything. You're not really supposed to, but take up another week. Week five. So now it's a nifty little thing, eh? I I like this thing. Mm. Oh. Okay, so now we get to recruit. Good luck. Yeah, someone's <laughs> lying. I think we're gonna have to spectate too. <laughs> Where is my ice cream? So these guys come back because this was a sport event, not a death event. So which guy should I recruit? I think we're I'm definitely leaning towards one of these Limosians. So he's not really much much cooler than this guy. I'm thinking about going for this archer. He's an extra health. And he's got confidence and first strike. What's confidence? He gets to roll a green yeah. die when he's outnumbered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about going with that. You're thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to. Done. Done. Okay. I can go to sleep right now. 29, 27. I, I was know. expecting you out till like midnight. Yeah, I know. And I had one drink and now I have a headache. <laughs> well, that's because you... I, know. I thought you were going to go see places. Yeah, wasn't that place so cute? It was. I cute. always wondered what was in there, but that place was in there. Yeah. Yeah. Whose phone's ringing? Oh, 7 Eleven. Hello. Okay. So, we have decisions to make again. We need to spectate. Okay, we can't stay at one health. Except the guy's already on his way here, but they called for a substitute. <laughs> <laughs> what are they substituting? I don't know. I just said, yeah, okay, sure, because I, I didn't know. We're not going to end up with a Coke Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> Frog water? <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't get the play mat. We have it. We, we, have, use we it. have the module play mat, so it's the two different play mats instead of one giant one. And uh, you can't, you still can't use it because it's it's enormous. It's huge. Okay, so we are spectating. I know that. Did you hear Kason today that said that he was happy that we got him those stickers from the Pandasaurus game? Oh. Thanks for my stickers you got me, he said. Yeah. So we're going to go up here. We're going to spectate an opportunity round. So we will flip this to the back. And take three of them. And look. What resin upgrades for what game? For uh, this, winter? this winter. Did we get them? Yes. The resin upgrades? Which ones? Just uh, the pieces on your board and whatnot. Oh. I get you. Discard a number of tactics equal to your tactic capacity while in the Kunlun region. Well, the Kunlun region is way over here, and we are currently way over here. Win an event which you deploy three or more defenders. We only have one defender. 
Oh, I didn't even realize that they came in wood. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, this is a nice switch. Just sitting here, not playing the game, just yeah. watching you, chatting away with my BFF. Okay, so we'll do that. So we discarded, we rearranged, we will gain Scion influence of just one because it's Act One. Not too bad. We'll heal my character back up to six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think there's anything so. wrong with wooden bits. Is there a picture of it on BGG? Nothing's wrong. I do like the resin bits, though. Like, it looks cool. Um. Okay. And we skipped the cleanup phase, so that's fine. Okay. We're doing okay. We've used one blessing. I thought for sure we were going to use a second blessing, that last uh, last one, but we were fine. What does the board look like without? Without what? The resin pieces. No, oh, less exciting. You're less exciting. Okay, so let's go up and do a. Uh, <coughs> let's do another blood sport. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, yeah, they're totally fine. <coughs> but they're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not cool. You're making me cough. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move up to this blood sport. One minute away. I feel like we got this. We do got this. Okay, so this blood sport is all units have range one. It's not bad. So it is a local unit and two bag units. How goes it best at Star Trek? All right, two bag units. Of course, get another one of those defenders out. And, oh my goodness, we got the whole uh, Mosian team up here. I could. No. <laughs> not for you? No, not for me. <laughs> and the defender gets a tactic of stun. So I could have four units this, this game. It's not bad. Did you only have two last turn? Um, no, I can't remember what I could have. I think I could only have four. I've not played Millie for you. I don't know. There's also one that Catherine played. I don't know. Okay, so we will deploy this guy. Three, four, five. So everything only has a range of one in this one. So, he's going to move up to three here. We're going to get my attacker out. One, two, three. Yeah. BGG doesn't recommend lots of things at 2. Like, they don't recommend this game at 2, and that's what we're playing it as. Okay. This guy's going to deploy. Fire pedal. Get go on here. This guy's going to move three up to here. That guy is dazed. I think we'll get my...
Hmm. We're gonna oh. get. It was mine. They substituted. I got a dark chocolate, but I said I got double camo. Get the defender out. They are. It is a game I kickstarted. This one. Which one? This game looks like. Oh, 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 yeah. I was looking at other comments about that one. Cool. Roll bite, caramel. What the? <laughs> Mind your manners. Just a little bite. No, it's dark chocolate. Disgusting. It's not dark chocolate. I ordered dark chocolate. Oh, even but better. They gave That's me good. double caramel. Make sure Steve he's not he's not listening. For real. Okay. <laughs> He's going to move here. The other one will move here. Then he'll use his ability to swap put me here. So maybe I don't want that to happen. Not all planned out, don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm going to move here. And... And... And, yeah. Black, blue, yellow. Steve is coming back. Don't talk about him. That's better than none. That's better than none. Okay, so this guy is going to deploy four. Um. He's gonna stay, he's on the highest ground in range of an opponent. This guy's gonna move three up this way. Which is fine. This guy just came out. So this guy, he's gonna use his ability because it'll allow him to get a shot. So he will flip, swap, just because that'll put me in range of two guys. He will then attack me. Get one black die because now he's lower. Does one damage, but retaliate does one. And then this guy is going to attack me. Ooh, it's a good thing it's a plastic card. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing this game's bath proof for nothing perfect look at that flip the card it's all good <laughs> it's fine there's just it's nothing fine. wrong <laughs> okay so we survived that no thanks nobody can see that no they don't need to <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. We're gonna get my hero Right there? Yeah. This guy's gonna move him here. If your hero dies, does the game end? Uh no, I have blessings that uh basically revive me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've used one already. Mm -hmm. Ahemi was judging pretty hard. <laughs> Mushy. I like Captain Nine Lives. This is why I don't watch your streams in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk enough for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to try to get rid of this guy out of the way. Um, yeah. So we will roll one black die. 
nothing for that defender. And then my attack gets two black dice, a blue dice, and a yellow dice. Only one. Wow. Yeah, not great. Not great. I was really... Oh, that's weird. YouTube was like, oh, you really liked this video. Here's all the <laughs> other ones. <laughs> Our Too Many Bones lives are pretty fun, though. We had a lot of fun. Oh, did you? We did. Not when I was on. This is not co-op. This is strictly solo. That's why she's sitting over there living her best life. I'm going to bed soon. What? I have a headache and I'm tired. No, we have to get to the end of Act 1. But I'm, I uh, promised the people. Oh, you can do whatever you want. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm going to bed, finish my book, and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Movement phase. He's not going to move. He's at the highest hex he can get. He's not going to move. He's at the highest hex he can get. This guy's going to move here. Mm-hmm. And then what? And then they're going to attack. Okay. Yeah. Do it. So he's going to attack the strongest point. He's going to attack him. Yep. So he rolls one black die. Nothing. This guy is going to attack the strongest opponent, which is this guy. He also has to because he's got taunt. And then this guy is going to attack that guy for black, blue, and yellow. Really? For two, which kills him. Which is not good because it's a bloodshed event and so dead guys stay dead. Dead guys stay dead? Not you. No, it's because the gods don't want me to die. Hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah. Where are you going to put it? Putting it right there. Man, we should get Still new chairs. Uh, cup holders. Cup holders, right? Let's do it. And by new chairs, I mean let's move the table over here and it'll be a reading chair. Take that out of the mouth. <laughs> Can I touch your stuff? Yeah. My last unit as well. You got still. You threw it. Yep. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I want to. Yeah. We're gonna move him here. Mm-hmm. Yep, I agree. It's exactly what I would do. Is it? Mm-hmm. 100%. Do you want me to roll your dice? No. <laughs> but I'm good luck, right? Still 67%? Ooh. Hmm. And all re units have range one. So. I could. I guess I... You're right, Catherine. I could just sit here. I think I have, like, four pages left to read. That's what I'll do. Ugh. I gotta remember that this is an actual lie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you need a pep talk. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. I don't want my defender to be hit more than he has to be. I'm gonna use a tactic. I'll use bolster health. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to keep it there. Okay, we're just going to attack. We get one black die. We're attacking this guy. Dead. Okay. So this guy is going to take the highest ground. And this guy is going to take the highest ground into the opponent. We're going to get him to go this way. Cut 
because it was a tie, so we could have gone either way, and then ties I decide. So I have to attack him for two. One, not bad. And this guy's gonna attack him. Two blue, yellow, or two black, one blue, one yellow, and two. Still kicking. Nice. Okay. Castle party. Castle party. Here. No, before we move, we are going to use bolster health to give my defender two more health. Bring him in there. Okay. It's castle party. Mm -hmm. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Google it. What? What? I'm going to go with it's not the roar right that we talked about then. That we write? That we talk about? Look, we read the comment. We don't talk about any roll and write. We talk about roll and writes. You could put your book down for a second. Absolutely not. Sorry. I got four pages left. That was a terrible Mind one. your business. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, we got roll two green. It's a defender, which is two. Then we roll a black for the defender against the defender. One more. And then that's going to attack that guy for a black and a yellow. One. He retaliates for one. Okay. No one's going to move. They're all going to stay right where they are. Because they are in range. This guy's going to roll two black dice against him. No, look at that. And then this guy's going to roll two black, a blue, and a yellow. For two. Bolster health saved him for this turn. He's making it out of it alive, but um. move up here for two. Dog Park is okay. It's very light. I enjoyed playing Bunny Kingdom, but Nick didn't. Bunny Kingdom's good. Bunny it Kingdom's is, got a lot of upkeep for calculating the, the victory, the victory points, points. Kind of yeah. very, you didn't like. yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna roll my two green and one black against the defender there. For two, kills him. Going for the Hail Mary here. Then we're going to roll one black, one yellow. We need two hits here. Uh, we can't even do it. Oh, we can. We need two. We need to get it all, though. He's got three health left. We need to roll two hits. Only one hit. Not great. Tally eight. Okay. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, we are not going to attack with the defender. Because retaliate will kill him. So he's going to move to the highest hex in range of a unit. Then he's going to target the strongest unit. So let's. And a yellow for two. Retaliate for one. My turn. We, well, we'll move everything up just to. Sure, but I'm going to roll a two green dice. One kills them. Ooh, I did not think my defender and this were going to make it through. But, it's well played. Okay. So we go to cleanup. We mark off a week. Now week six. Um, so, this was a bloodshed event. Should we add another die in here? Or should we get some health? Six health, like, this guy's an attacker. I feel like we should go with, uh, I feel like we're going, we should go with more health. everyone think about that more health or another die um, it's only at six black Rosa was long and I don't want to say boring it's a weird theme you always say die dice aren't your friend well I know but my guy is a rough and tough battler, okay? <clears throat> she needs to get in there. I'm going with I'm going with uh, health. Okay. Dead units go in the bag. I lost one unit as well. Guys, I think we forgot to play the stun tactic, okay? Or is that notice? Oh well. Can't go back now. Nope, we didn't do a review. Chrissy refuses to teach me. It's just, it's a weird theme. And it's a lot. I played it while I was at PAX Unplugged. We're at five health, that's not bad. Okay, we're week, where are we here? Week six. We need to end up here eventually. Where is the line? Okay, yeah. So if we go one week, two week, Three week, four week, five week, six week. Play it out right away. Or go back one week, two week, three week. Like is there there's no reason to rush to the uh yeah well let's go over here we're gonna go this way 
we have played Foundation of Rome. It's overrated. It shouldn't be such a fancy, dandy uh, plastic pieces, which would make it not so. The pl the pieces are what make it a good game. What people like. If it did, if it was just normal pieces, if it was just normal pieces, I don't think people would like it as much. It is, yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's worth the money for how light of a game it is. Like it's a fine game, but it's if it if you take away the upgraded pieces, uh I don't think most people would enjoy it. So like I like a game that has upgraded pieces, don't get me wrong. But I think the game should stand on its own first. Then have upgraded pieces. Oh, do you want to scoot over a bit? It kind of hurt my back. I mean, especially if you're just going to be chilling there reading, you <laughs> get off to the side. <laughs> Okay. So here we are in Atlantis. Uh, there's the trident in the middle. So when a unit shares a hex with the trident, they immediately equip it and place it uh, between the unit's chips and its HP. The unit holding the trident has a special trident throw. Trident throw deals two damage to any opponent in combat. This unit must then unequip the trident and place it place it on the damage unit hex, the damage unit immediately equips it. Okay. These deluxifications are getting crazy. Okay. Let's do it. So we are over here. We will do... So this is capture the flag. We haven't done a capture the flag event yet. Zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. Uh, you cannot use local units in your lineup. Luckily enough, I don't have any Atlanteans. Um, so it's one local unit. Two bag units. Oh, a defender. That's good. We want flow units here. And another defender. We're going to pick this guy to be the Tribune. No tactics. Capture the flag, the flag comes out and it goes on the first space. So the goal is I have to get over, pick up the flag, and bring it back to one of my deployment hexes to win. And do not kill the Tribune. Of course, he's got the Harpoonsman to come out first. Nope. Let's put out. Well, I'm not first. It's the, they're first. Getting ahead of myself here. So they deploy two. This harpoonsman onto the flag. They don't pick up the flag. Doesn't move. No one to attack. My turn. I come here. I'm the first unit out for my thing. So I can heal two, which allows me to heal to my full health. I move two, because I'm not dazed, because I was the first unit deployed as well. My cards. We have played Root. Chrissy didn't like it. I almost flipped the table, but that's because he made me learn the game by myself, and I don't do well. <laughs> I like Root. I think it's interesting, having all those different asymmetrical uh, factions. Yeah, and then we bought the RPG too, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, and then first off, what I'm going to do here to quickly 
fix this game up for me. I'm going to throw the trident at this guy for two, which kills it. Get out the way. Ooh. Man, I could do this all the time. You play the game, we sit here in the same room with you while I read. <laughs> you want to start that up? No. Okay, so the defender's going to come out. Moving on this hex, which allows him to pick up the trident. He is dazed, however. Will not move. Will not move. Will not move. I'm going to then get my tactician out. And I'm going to move two up this way. And I'm going to move this way. Because he's tactical. Actually, we're going to move this way, and we're going to move this way. Yeah. Ugh, all the stuff I put in my hair with all the wind outside. Ooh, naughty. Okay. This guy's going to deploy. Four. Five. Place here. Dazed. This guy is going to move to uh, opponent with trident or the furthest opponent. So one, two, three. Oh, no, he's going to move this way. Let's go that way. And then he is going to throw the trident. furthest target, so that's be one, two, one, two. So they're both furthest, so I will decide which one to throw it. He's gonna throw it at this guy. Two, I pick it up. Okay, we'll move down here. So now this is just, this is going to play, just try to get around it without getting any hit anymore. Okay, so he's going to move one. He's going to move to the opponent with the target, with the trident, one that way. And he's going to move one this way. So this guy is going to go one, two, three. This guy is going to go one, two, this way. This guy's going to move one this way. And he's going to move one this way. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Uh, he's going to move this way for one. And he's going to move this way for one. Uh, I've seen fade them. I haven't seen anything on it either. Great split. I haven't heard of it. Okay, so then I'm going to go... As soon as I pick up the flag, they're going to go after me. Which is fine. I'm well away from them. So I'll go one, two, three. Now they're targeting the flag holder. So we'll go one, two, three, so we can go that way. Uh, he's gonna go one, two, and one, two, three. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> a 
jeez. Lewis, it's hard to tell it's even you all the time. <laughs> all right. So we finally danced around these two uh, two guys enough. So that was good. But luckily, what it was. What does the logo say? I don't know. You make can make it big. You make it big. Yeah. Your phone. Perfect. The... Burr. It says his new name. Really original. Ooh. It looks good. He's pretty ordinary, though, I gotta say. Okay, so we do clean up, mark Ugh. off a week. I'm going to bed. Back. I should take some Tylenol. How much longer do you have? Uh, How long do you think you've been playing for? Oh, what time is it? It's just 10 o'clock. Oh, 10. I, I, my goal was to get at least one act done. And? I'm pretty close to it. Not bad. Yeah, I will get one act done. Good job. Okay, so we got to decide who we want to take. <laughs> I was Perfect. expecting to be out a lot later, so I wasn't really worried. No, I know. Now that you're home, I feel entitled to go to bed when you go to bed. Why? Just because. Stay up and play. That's fine. I have a headache. That's the only reason why I want to go to bed. Well, just close your eyes. <laughs> okay, who do we take? Kamala or high water. <laughs> we have a defender. We have two archers, so we probably <laughs> don't need another archer. We'll try not to, okay, Lewis? Maybe. I mean, Harpoonsman's not bad, though, with the, the long range. Who's going to come up with definitely not ordinary? Who's going to come up with that name? <laughs> we're, we're leaning a little heavy on the archers here. Chris said that she had no other fun places to check out. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And she's like, so early night then? I was like, okay. We'll take this guy. That's what you're going to do? Yeah. Oh, look who decided to show up. Who? Definitely, Definitely not, not Steve. Steve. Leave me out of this. <laughs> okay. This is the next one. Yep, it's Atlantis. We're not staying here too long. That was the only battle. Oh. I think we're going we're going back to the Limosians. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, because I have to fight the boss over there. Yep. And uh so <laughs> that's why. All right. Do it. How are the kids tonight, anyway? They're fine. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. They went to bed good? Mm hmm Hmm. Maybe we go back around, do a blood sport, pick up an opportunity, hit another... Um, hit another... Sporting event. Sporting event? Yep. Yeah. Oh. And then hit up the boss. So what is that? One, two, three, four. Three more battles. That'll put me on eight, nine, ten. That's pretty good. I'd have to come up with a perfect board game first though, right? Win it all. Win one all. I'd like to win it all. The first rival unit deployed at cell oh. four. Did David show up earlier? No, I don't, who's David? Who's David? <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to be. Notice how your poles kind of coming down. Yeah, what the heck? All right, we're going back to Limousians. We're going to do a blood sh blood sport. Blood sport. Yep. Ooh, they're double sided. Yep. Are they all the same on the other side? No, they're all different arenas. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> we're going back to the Limousian space though. Okay, I can unzoom. So we'll move here back to Limousin, a blood sport. Take this. We gotta go back here. 
Wow, we weren't even subscribed to Lewis's channel. <laughs> he just makes videos for us. <laughs> even more reason. Okay. <laughs> 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 You're definitely gonna regret it. Let's five well, hours of sleep is good. We we've got this, Ahemi. We got this. We're going to beat the Mosian. We're going to. We are going to. We're going to. We're going to. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, we went. We had a date night. We went to go see Avatar. It was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we really enjoyed. I we went saw it in 3D IMAX as well. I might have cried. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's like the best movie ever, but it was entertaining. Like for the length of the movie, mm -hmm. it didn't feel like it was that long. I didn't feel <laughs> like Chris and Emmy got up to go to the washroom. No. So the first Rava unit deployed has health four. <laughs> Everyone so it's just for you. my hero versus that guy. So it's <laughs> no, I'm not letting Chrissy touch the dice. <laughs> so it's one on one. All right. Yep. I think we got this. My guy is my guy's my guy. All right, let's zoom in here. So this local unit. And he's to tactic. He's in range, so he's got bolster health. Of course he's got bolster health. Mirror machine has Starbucks. And they won't put one in bathrooms. Okay, so let's deploy. That guy's in deploy. Three. <laughs> Four health actually has first four, four health because that's the assassination bloodshed event. Of course, it's an archer though, not really the way we want her to go. Can you do a live playthrough of throw your throw the burrito? You want to go get a burrito? I don't have a burrito, and I'm pretty sure that's a game. Oh, I know it is, but. <laughs> There, one, two, three, four, five. Heal two because we deployed. And he's going to move one, two, three, and then hit me anyways. One, two. Oh, no, he's not. So we're not going to move. He should have bolstered health, by the way, as soon as I put him out. So he should have been at two, anyways. Okay, so we got six Archer here. Okay, so he's going to move up. He's going to go one, two, three. Range of two, one, two. So I'm out of range. Well, that's good. Now my turn. I'm going to move one, two. Get right next to him. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so I roll two green dice. Get that. Whoop. Going around. Okay. He's not going to move. He's just going to hit me for black and yellow. And an extra black because he's on top. Uh, so two. Retaliate for one. I don't mind losing two. I want to get Starship Captains because I love Star Trek. I'm having I'm trying to not buy any games this month. This month? I thought it was this year. No, <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> but yeah, start the captains. I really want to get. However, by the time we get it, no one's gonna want to see any video on it. So there's that. Yeah. Hey. Um, and woodcraft doesn't interest me at all. No. 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 The the it just looks boring. It looks um, boring. Looks boring. I'm moving up here. Wow. You should start a review channel. I I did. Like you could try to sugarcoat things. I'm not. No, and people hate it. People hate sugarcoating. No, things? people hate when I tell them the truth about what I, I know. Thought they're on. I know. Like you tell them Wayfarers is an okay game, 
and no one likes that. You tell them Heat is an okay game, nobody likes that because they want to hear you say, it's amazing, and it's not. <laughs> Sugar too. Okay, so oh, he's gonna attack me. Two. Heath is 100% just a Dead. See, this is why I like to have you in with my reviews. <laughs> what we're gonna rename this channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we won that. Won that. So that's good. Uh, we mark off another week. Bloodshed event was in the bag. I'm taking another health. I know it's controversial. I know. Okay. You'd call it Nick Picks? Sorry. Yes, I'm pretty sure Case has school Monday. Monday? Yeah. We can't rename the channel. Sure thing. Why would we? Two sheep, one week's great. It. Yeah, Lewis. <laughs> okay. So. We did that. Now we're going to pull down here. We are going to do, um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> opportunity. So we're going to do an opportunity. We're going to draw two opportunity cards. Burr. Why is it so chilly? Uh, so discard a number of tact is equal to your tactic while in the Kunlun region. We're not going to the Kunlun region. So we're going to take this one, hold fast. It says, win an event in which deploy three or more uh, defenders. Where's the calendar? We only have two defenders right now, but... So then we do clean up, go to week nine. Move down here. I feel we should spectate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I'm gonna be six. That sucks. What is Monday? I don't know. Thirtieth. He says he does have school. Womp womp. Hmm. So I feel like if we spectate, it'll get me to full health, go into the Primus. Yeah, let's do it. Way we can, that'll be 10.30ish, we will finish Act 1. That sucks. Okay, so we are going to spectate. So we discard the top of the thing. Then we get to look at three of them. Okay, you defeat the rival units or immediately return to the bay. You made Tom Vassal mad? Or should I say Tom Vaseline? I don't know if anybody will get that. How would you make him mad? You can look at any deck. Of a deck? Really? We gotta check that out. 
Do we? Not that it's important. I did want to change that, but uh, now I gotta. No, it's not any deck. When spectating, you discard the top event, take the event card that's currently at the top of your location, corresponding event deck, and put it in the bottom of the deck. Then you draw three more cards from that location's event. Look at them. Yeah. Nope. You have to do what the events you're at. Really? Yes. I don't know. Swagger I'm does with not AM act on this one. During your abilities and engage step. Uh, we'll go with this one, this one, and this one. You're on that one? I just read it in the rule book. <laughs> I'm with her. Well, it's fair. We all have to stick together. It's actually four. And we have to take Silent Influence. Okay, and then we skip the cleanup phase. So we are sitting at week nine, and I think we're going to do the Scion battle. You ready? Mm hmm. You can't fall asleep at the table. I'm not. I'm just closing my eyes. Bright lights in here, and I have a headache. <laughs> and then if I go to bed, you're going to go to bed, and everybody else will be mad at me. <laughs> so, best of both worlds. I'm going to nap right here. <laughs> You might have heard it, but it's red in there. <laughs> I'm just closing my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Jason falls asleep at school all the time, apparently. No, he doesn't. That's what he said. All right. And the teacher said she had to wake him up. Yeah, but he we sent him to school sick that one time. For, what was it? It was his Christmas concert. It was his Christmas concert. If he didn't go to school, he couldn't do his Christmas concert. And I'm I know. not missing the so, Christmas concert. You sent him to school. And that day was rough. Like, we shouldn't have sent him. You shouldn't have. Really, I dealt really dealt knowing we shouldn't have sent him. Kids Tylenol. But and like, away he went. But I was He wasn't not... feeling that bad. He just was. He was sluggish. Yeah, he wasn't feeling great, though. No. I doused him with children's well, Tylenol. Didn't douse him. Like... Well, I gave him the appropriate amount. Like, because of... he. Advil or Tylenol and then sent him off to school but I was not missing his Christmas concert because I've been waiting years he did good we were fine we're gonna remember this is not a uh, members only live yeah I know he <laughs> went to school sick but he yeah. wasn't like terrible sick no he, he wasn't dying children's Tylenol and off to school but he went. did fall asleep at his desk but to be fair they weren't really doing school that day no they were just whatever yeah yeah okay so we have to look. This is another weird thing about this game. What is? Is the, the Primus fights. You have to go the manual to look how to set it up. But whatever. So Act 1 is the Primus has 6 health. So it gets 1 local unit. It would normally be 3 locals, but we've whittled it down. Whittle, whittle. Oh, there's another local unit, though. Okay. And then the Primus, who is at six health. Oh, wrong color. Okay, and the Primus has a tactic, which gets adrenaline. Everyone else does not. Okay, and this is a normal bloodshed event. So I think we have this. So I'm not too 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 concerned. What? Nothing. I'm not asleep. Just go lay to bed. I'll be done in a few minutes. It'll be okay. All right, bye.
Christmas concert. It's the best thing ever. Okay, toodaloo. You're just going to leave the chair just dangling there? It's not dangling. It's square on the floor. There you go. Oh. There. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So this guy's going to deploy. Four. Boys there. And then it deploys a tactic. This unit has plus one movement. Hmm. One, two, three. If I can get my tactician up there, one, two. Three. He won't last very long. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our defender out there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. He's gonna move. This guy's gonna come out. Three health. Three. And this guy's gonna move three. One, two, three. Yeah, let's put him up there. Okay, let's deploy my bolus hunter. Boy, that guy. We're gonna play our hero. Yeah. And he's gonna go one, two, three, because he is also two. Yeah, he's gonna go here. No? Yeah, he's gonna go here. Okay. And he's going to roll a black die against him. One. Tally for one. There. This guy's going to come out. Three health. Two and three. He's going to go one. Highest hex in range of opponent. He's going to go highest hex so you can get to. It's right there. Okay. He's going to attack him with a black and a yellow. Two. Not good. Not good. And then the other guy's going to attack with a blue. Yellow and black. Two, not good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Up. 
employ the tactician. And then I'm going to use hamstring on this guy. I'm going to move one. Actually, two. No, I'm going to stay right where I am. I'm going to let him come to me for a second. May not be the best play, but this guy's going to come out. This guy is going to move to highest tax and range of an opponent. One, two, one, two. I can pick which one I want him to go to. I want him to go that way. He, he's not going to attack because he's hamstrung. One, two, three, up to one, two, three, two, three. We'll go this way. And then this guy's going to move. Oh, wait. He's not moving one, he's moving three. Move in there, and this guy is going to move one, two, right there. Because they're Lamosians, they get to move three, and this guy's dazed. This guy can't attack because he's hamstrung. This guy is going to attack strongest opponent in range, which would be this guy. So for a black and a yellow and a blue, two blacks. Two blacks and a yellow. Two. Okay. Play this guy out now. Let's go this way. Okay. Okay, so this guy is going to attack that guy. Two green dice, two hits. Italians for one. Defender is going to use a black die. One kills him. We'll retaliate. And this guy is going to use his red dice. I'll roll it just for y'all. Wasn't sure. Clean up this battlefield here. It's getting littered with blood. Okay. This guy's gonna move one, two, put him in range. He's gonna go this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. I've deployed four units. How many can I deploy in this one?
I can deploy four units as well. Okay, so I've already deployed all the units I can. Okay, so he's going to attack him. Two black dice, a blue dice, and a yellow dice. Two killed my tactician. Oh, we're not looking good here. He's going to attack the strongest unit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a tie. So I'll get him to attack my defender. Just two. Okay. Over here, two. Move up here for one. Yep. So Gonna use no. It's gonna use two. Uh, no, we have to do it that way. Do we want to do it that way? Yeah, I guess so. We're gonna do it that and attack him for two green dice. Kills him. Okay, then this guy's gonna move. And he's gonna go highest hex in range of an opponent. If I can tie, we'll move him down this way. Well, then this guy is going to attack this guy, black, two blacks, a blue, and a yellow. For two, we're definitely going to use a blessing here, retaliate for one. And then this guy is going to attack that guy for two black, three black, because he's got the high ground. Three kills him. My turn. One, two. Up there. And I'm going to attack the attacker. Two blue, two green dice. Lots of green dice. Two green dice, one black. For two, kills the attacker. So, here's my problem. He's got Absorb. Now, Absorb says when the unit is attacked, it ignores all but one of the damage dealt. So, basically, we're just going to be going hit back and forth. Of this guy until he dies. Six. Let's get six health. So he's gonna move up there. And he's gonna retaliate for one. So I'm definitely gonna use a blessing here. No ifs and or buts for two. But I do one for retaliate. No, I know. That's not a good situation. Like, even if I do damage to him, the retaliate's going to do damage to me. Oh, well. All right, roll two dice, attack him. Wow, no damage. Look at that. You can roll his two black dice against me. 
two kills me, which makes me go down a blessing. And then I go back up eight. Okay. It's my turn. Two blue dice. One. He retaliates for one. Absorb and retaliate is not fair. <laughs> okay. He's going to roll two against me. He's going to do one. I have retaliate, which does one. Roll my two dice. One. He does one back. Like we got them, except now it's just a battle of how much health will I have left. He does two damage. I do one back. All right, it's three to one right now. Oh, of course it is. Two. Cali for one, he's dead. Wow, I almost had to use two blessing. That's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. We beat it, though. We beat it. We defeated Act 1 with only using two blessings out of eight. It's not great. Could have been worse, though. However, we did lose three guys. So that's rough. So we get to gain a hero's prowess, I believe. Um, yeah, so reward for Primus. We fully hear the hero. So let's mark, we go back to, go to act two. So back two, week zero. Okay, then we gain one hero prowess card. We're going to go Bloody Retribution. So each time Stigana is attacked, add a blue die to her attack in that combat. Use a arena die to track if needed, because we're always getting hit. So that'll make it a little better. We fully heal up to eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. We return all the bag dead units to the bag. Um. So we got to finish. So before we throw all these units back in the bag, I feel we get to refill as a reward back to five units. We're only at three units, so we get to draw two more units. So we'll draw that guy. Oh my goodness. Wish these had like a little stacking so they don't fall over. And we'll draw this guy. And these go back to the bag. This guy's dead. Um, here we go. Act two. This is our group. We're doing a little fire. I have one tactic left. I need to gain a couple more of those. All right.
I think that is it for tonight, everyone. We finished Act 1. We got to play Lemosians. We saw Pluto's Refuge. And we saw Atlanteans Arena once. So, you know, we did get to see... We did get to see a little bit. Um, same time tomorrow for Act 2? Probably not. Um, but we did it. It was nice having uh, one of the designers in the chat for a little bit. It's always fun when someone knows what they're talking about shows up. Uh, I think we played all right. I, I think I missed one tactic, enemy rival tactic once. Bloodshed event. But I get so wrapped up with what's going on in the arena that I sometimes forget to deal with that. So, but I have a good time. It was a good time tonight. We uh, we did well. I don't know if it's 90 minutes per act. Like, we've been playing for how long now? 7.30? Uh, three hours? And we just finished act, so it's probably, you know, if you cut down the talking time and whatnot, maybe two hours, but now 90 minutes is... <laughs> Do you give yourself a trophy for complete act one? You know what? Why not? I'll award it to myself. Best board gamer of act one. I only use two blessings, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> could have been worse. It could have been way worse. I almost got in trouble there. I almost had to use a... a a third blessing. Um, but I had fun. I hope everyone else had fun. It's a fun game. It's, it's, th it's thinky for sure. But anyways, everyone have a good night. Thanks for coming out. I might make a video on this. Uh, how to play or something like that. I, I think I've got it down pat now. And uh, yeah. Catch you next time. Bye. Okay, push the button, Nick. Bye. Okay. We just need to make sure we uh, end this poll. Uh, obviously, Chrissy was bad luck, but everyone thought she was. Just saying. Let's be real about it. Okay. Good night.